What is going on everyone? It is Fatal Reaper today, bringing you a video and today we are back on Cold War and today we're going to be showing you a graphics test so uh, you guys can check out my setup and I'll have it in the description as well as the title and real quick as you can see we're going through everything and we're putting on high and ultra so everything that can be set to high is set to high, everything that can be set to ultra is on ultra. We're going to jump into a game and show you how much frames we can actually get. Now roughly I was getting anywhere from 100 to 130 frames per second um, and that was with all, again high and ultra settings uh, i do apologize for my last video the audio might have been a bit out of sync here and there um there was a problem with the file um i left the video up because you know it's just still showcasing black ops uh, cold war and you can still see all that this one will be fixed and not have any problems with the audio or anything like that again before we got uh before we continue guys please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it really helps me out really appreciate it um cold war so far is just been uh, absolutely honestly great to me i i really get that black ops feeling again so I, you know black ops 2 was one of my favorites and black ops 1 was of course hands down one of my favorites as well uh mainly for the zombies but multiplayer uh multiplayer definitely for black ops 2 so the multiplayer in this uh cold war is just honestly phenomenal i love playing it it just got that good feeling uh i just uh, just small small details matter to me and the way how you you know when you get a, a elimination and it pops up and everything and the little s sounds it play to me it just brings back that black ops kind of feeling and it, it just you know it's just really fun to me. um but again part of personally no complaints i did have a few uh um graphics issues at first where it, it looked like the whole map was like um, invisible, everything started disappearing, but I think that was just an issue with my computer reset and everything was good. Again, this is a beta, so it's probably going to have a few little bugs here and there like everything else has, but other than that, it's played very fluidly and I've had no issues with it as well. So, um, again, you know, Cold War, I'm really happy that I pre-ordered it and was able to get the uh, beta as well and show you guys this. Again, it's just, it's been really good. I have no complaints with it. Graphics look phenomenal to me. Um, Again, it brings that good Black Ops feeling back and everything like that. So we will be doing a test on the HP Pavilion as well. So if you guys stay tuned for that, um, we'll be showcasing again for my uh, laptop that I bought recently and it able to play. As far as I know, the require it meets the requirements um, to play Cold War. So we will be doing a test on that. Um, we will be doing more tests as well as it progresses and I uh, have a few more videos in mind that I will be showcasing again for stay tuned for that We will be doing uh, of course more videos when the game actually fully releases and I can't wait for that Especially for zombies and everything else um, Again, this is a graphics test showed you the max settings and my setup is in the description as well as the title So if you guys are wondering that if you want any more details, please be sure to leave a comment down below I will get back to you as soon as I can and tell you exactly what I have uh, further than my graphics card and my uh, prop, uh, CPU so again guys I hope you enjoy this video um, you know again I was able to run you, you can see up there in the left corner I can actually run a little bit higher than 130 frames in some parts so it's been you know very phenomenal to me and how well it actually looks so again guys I hope you enjoyed this video I will see you guys in the next one be sure to hit that like button and subscribe I will see you guys in the next one Spy plane launch. Road frag. 